The study behind me is a spreading ryegrass study. It was planted a year and a half ago. And in the study, we're looking at how well these ryegrasses will recover after receiving football type traffic. Good looking grasses are nice, but in my opinion, having a good looking grass that has other qualities such as drought, pest, or traffic tolerance, or has the ability to recover quickly from stolons or rhizomes, that's where the rubber meets the road. I like to see grass testing that is more than just a beauty pageant. The spreading ryegrass test is certainly more than which grass looks good. This machine is called a Baldry Traffic Simulator, and as you can see, it puts athletic type wear on the grass. The plate striking the ground has football cleats attached to produce damage similar to an NFL football game. We traffic this test three times per week during the month of May and then again during July to see how these ryegrasses would stand up to traffic and then their subsequent recovery. Here we're looking at turf quality across 2019 as affected by traffic. Quality rises and falls across the year as dictated by traffic, but the interesting thing is the pretty large separation between the Mountain View varieties and a well-known competitor that is marketed as a spreading rye. This University of Kentucky data shows Slugger 3GL, the red line, a blend of torsion and slider in green, a blend of slider and home run in black, and a three-way blend of torsion, slider, and home run in pink all have generally higher turf quality than the well-known competitor in blue, and all are statistically significant in April, August, and November. Here's what some of the plots looked like at the end of 2019. Some really good, some not as much. This study includes several really good grasses from a number of companies, and each company included a non-spreading rye to use as a control. The very thin plots in this image are likely non-spreading ryes. Fast forward to June 2020, and this is what this test currently looks like. Decent recovery through the spring, but several of the non-spreading varieties are still thin. When this and the following images were taken, six games of traffic had been imposed on these plots. The blend of torsion and slider did quite well through 2019 and remained near the top for turf quality. This image shows that this blend had recovered from damage from 2019 and is holding up well to spring 2020 traffic. The blend of slider and home run also did well during 2019. It was affected more from the spring traffic event than the other Mountain View varieties, but recovered well and ended the year near the top. This image from June 2020 shows the recovery from 2019 and how well it is handling the current traffic on it. The three-way blend of torsion, slider, and home run did very well during the early part of 2019, but was a little more severely affected by the July traffic event than the other Mountain View varieties. It recovered decently during the fall and is looking solid in 2020. Slugger stayed middle of the pack in the early part of 2019, but really ended the season well and was the top grass of all in the study. Early 2020 appears to be similar to 2019 for this grass, as it is not likely the top, but holding its own. Based on what we saw from 2019, though, this grass may have a higher recovery potential than many of the other grasses entered, entered in this trial. The well-known competitor marketed for its ability to spread was really a non-factor in the trial and had turf quality and recovery similar to the non-spreading varieties. You can see in this image that not all of the damage had recovered from 2019. Switching gears now to the 2016 National Perennial Ryegrass Test, this study is in its fourth year and you can see a decent amount of annual bluegrass in these plots. You can also see some bald spots in most of these plots as this trial has been used for a divot recovery study and we've seen more annual bluegrass contamination due to thinner than normal turf. Mountain View entries in the 2016 National Ryegrass Test have done very well with seven of our 10 entries making the top statistical group in 2019 and three others that are not far behind. Slugger 3GL is tied for the number one spot of all the ryegrasses in tests across the country. This grass is more than just a pretty face, however, as it is performing very well in the spreading ryegrass study. Slugger 3GL also tied for highest traffic tolerance at the Virginia Tech location and is in the top statistical group for turf color. The other Mountain View varieties in this trial are doing very well and are acceptable as standalone varieties and blends in both the permanent and overseeding ryegrass markets.